Shadow. <laughs> no, I need to do that again. I'm gonna lie. If you're new here, welcome! This is Trisha Pay TV. My name is Trisha. This channel is mainly about travel and adventure with a touch of tips and tricks with trivia and anything under the sun as long as it's fun. Okay, let's get back to the video. Since my first vlog was about me going on a hike after a 12-hour shift, imagine, at the Old Lady Valley. I don't know. Here it is. Here it is. If you haven't seen it yet, you can watch it now or maybe later. Whatever. I'm gonna put it at the last part of my video, so don't worry. I was thinking of making a series of something like travel or hiking series or. Oh! Oh! Maybe Saudi Arabia series. What do you think? Click the like button and comment down below if you have suggestions, if you like it, or if you have violent reactions or anything. Shadow. So na wala namang violent reaction. Nagsisimula pa lang ako. Parang awa mo naman. Uy! Before we go and talk about this unforeseen, even, and aesthetic place within the vicinity of the city. Wow! Do the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget to click that notification bell. Okay. So here's the clip. sa city. Like, 10 minutes away from the city center. Hindi mo talaga siya akalain kasi usually places like that, mga disierto, mga maybe 30 minutes or aabot siya ng 4 hours away from the city. Anyway, saan to mga bakla? Drum roll please! Diplomatic quarter! Anyway, if you're from Riyadh, <laughs> if you're from Riyadh, if you're from Riyadh, or been here, or maybe working here, you may have heard of Diplomatic Quarter, right? And for some of you, in case you didn't know, Diplomatic Quarter is a compound which is a home base for embassies, international and governmental bodies here. So if you're in trouble or something, all embassies are there, so you can surely go there to file a report or something. I don't know. And you don't have to worry because it's fully protected, guys. And also, tip. 
If you're at diplomatic quarter, you don't have to wear a baya. If you're wondering what is a baya, this is a baya. What I'm wearing here right now? No, it's not right now. This is a baya. What I was wearing from this picture? It's a black long dress. Dress? It's not a dress. Yeah, but you got my point, right? You, you got my point. FYI, for your information, you need to wear a baya every single time you go out. No, I need to do that again. While there have been some small improvement in the freedom of women, this country is still pretty strict. If I'm not mistaken, if you're anywhere in Saudi Arabia, you need to wear a baya. Well, at least for female only. Makamagulat na ako may news na isang lalaki umamay ng suot ng abaya sa Saudi Arabia. O di ba? Kasalanan ko ba? Furthermore, furthermore, may mga residential and commercial areas din dito sa loob ng diplomatic quarter. <coughs> Sala. Hindi ko na sila kinuna ng videos and pictures because it's totally forbidden. Tip! Bawal po dito sa Saudi Arabia ang mag-take ng fic pictures. Yung mga pictures and videos na government-owned places. Okay? Unless gusto mong makulok or dahil bored na bored ka na sa buhay at gusto mo nang may magawa naman sa buhay. Pero na buhay. Take two. Unless gusto mong makulong or bored na bored ka na sa buhay at gusto mong may ganap naman sa iyong pagpunta ng riyad at gusto mong tuluyan ng madeport pabalik ng Pinas. Well, go. No one's stopping you. Go. Push mo yan, te. Again, if you're looking to travel around and take some pictures, pretty cool pictures, it's totally fine. Just don't take any shots of any governmental buildings, royal palaces, or anything to do with the military. As well as taking pictures of women, especially if they're wearing a baya and hijab with yung niqab, unless permission has been granted. Okay, so a baya was the black dress, long dress. And the hijab is the, <clears throat> it's like this, the, to cover their hair. And the niqab is to cover their faces, basically cover their whole head. Those women wearing like that, totally they are locals from Saudi Arabia. Each time they go out, they need to cover their entire bodies, with the exception of their face and hands. Alam niyo ba yung tinatawag nilang niqab? Yung as in covered yung buong face nila. Minsan talag covered lahat as in pure black yung itsura nila. Kaya minsan natatakot akong lumapit or something. Lalo na yung first few days ko dito sa Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Really, seriously. I was freaking out. Okay. Hindi naman freaking out pero natatakot ako konti. Slide. Pero yung iba naman, hindi na nag-wear nung makeup. Ano lang? Yung hijab na tinatawag nila. Yung sa buhok lang. So, it's okay for me. But actually, it depends on what part of the country you're in. Like in liberal cities, like in Jeddah and here in Riyadh, especially those people like me with other religions, we can wear just the abaya and not wearing the, <clears throat> the abungot part of the outfit. While in some provinces, they are more conservative. Although, a trivia, the crown prince claims that any woman or anyone can refuse this dress code. Even so, if a woman got raped or something, she will be found guilty of wearing clothes considered to wear billing. So, if you are na raped, you are guilty. Eh, di wow. Yung mo sa video, ito, ito po, ay isa sa mga parks and gardens sa DQ. Dahil marami pong parks and gardens to own na maganda pa. <clears throat> which you can Go and take pictures too if you want some. Maybe. And ito na nga, this part of the DQ is maybe a 5 minute walk from the from the park kanina. There are a lot of spots here that are really, really Instagrammable. Like this. And this. And this. And this. And this. Like a lot. Why do I keep doing like this? <laughs> Speaking of trivia. This place, this one, was once a hideout for soldiers. That once na may tragedy or something, if you can see the pathways right here, doon sila pumapasok papunta underground. 
may place daw dyan. At parang wrong yung term ko na hide. Parang tuwag naman sa they, they go underground to protect themselves or to get ready for a war or something. On the other hand, on the other hand, okay, on the other hand, on the other hand, na yung picture na to, this one, hindi ko ba nagtataka kung sa ko yung nakunan? Dun din. Dun din bakla. Well, yeah, dun din. Pero, question, saan nga ba galing yung tubig? Samantalang nasa disyerto ako. Actually, parang nag-leak lang na tubig yan sa mga residential parts of the DQ. And then, parang maganda lang yung napuntahan niyang daluyan, kaya maganda yung kinalabasan. Kaya, tada! We are ourselves the best picture ever! Tip! Maghanap ka lang ng magandang spot that you think is good for pictures. Ito talaga yung original picture niyan. Mga kon konting kembot lang sa edit kaya naging magandang konting konti. Minsan kasi talaga sa buhay, ang kamalasan na may dulot din kagandahan. Sabi nga nila, there's always sunshine after the rain. Malas lang ng may-ari kasi nagdikin to din siya. Pero para sa akin at sa mga ibang tourist noon, siyan ko kami sa spot na. Nga pala, anyway, anywho, sa event na napuntahan ko noon, after the band, may sasalubong sa yung live band. Three members lang sila. Basically like, instrumental band, the keyboard, may bass, guitar, and the lead box. Hindi li literal na sasalubong ah. <laughs> Yung nandun na sila nung pagkatapos ng hike nyo. So, magiging relaxed and nakakapagpahin na kayo ng mabuti after the hike. So, if you can see right here, sa aking IG stories nung panahon na yun, I was taking a picture of the band and my drinks. Pero si Koyang photographer, photographer? <laughs> si Koyang photographer, kayo na humusga. Hanggang ngayon nga hinaantay, inaantay ko pa yung picture na yan. Anywho, follow me on Instagram. And... Usap tayo! One thing more about hiking, why I love hiking so much, is that you can meet new people, hindi ka lang makapag-relax and unwind. You can totally meet new, friendly, amazing people. And dogs. And food. And more foods. Well, anyway, I'm wearing this Victoria's Secret Perfection, maybe? This one. If you can see this. Basta ito. This one. Actually, nag-sale lang siya. I will not ever buy this one if it's not on sale. Because it's like 75 SR. And in peso, it's like 1,000. 1,050 pesos siya. So, really? Hindi ko siya bibilhan if it's not on sale. Yeah, it's on sale. Like for 60 SR. Dalawa. Kuha ka ng dalawa. Buy two for 60 SR. And I bought this one and this bombshell right here. This is a perfume paint. Actually, bombshell is really good scent. So, if you go and take your new perfume on Victoria's Secret, I advise you to get this one. This one bombshell right here. Yeah. This one is actually, the original price was 90 SR. So, it's like 1,260 pesos. Sa Pinas price na siya. Nakuha ko sila ng 60 SR lang, both. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to smash the like button and comment down below if you have some questions. I'll try to answer them if, even if I don't know the answer. So just go on, like, and comment. Don't forget to click the spherical circle to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And watch my last video. See you on my next video. Bye!